Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome. My name's Christina and on my channel we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So before you go, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave any comments that you have for me down below. I went to Ulta yesterday and I picked up six of the MAC Locked Kiss inks and these are the brand new liquid lipsticks that they recently came out with so we're going to talk about all the specs i'm going to kind of talk through my thoughts because i did try one of the shades on yesterday just to get a feel for the formulation and then we are also going to swatch all of the colors that i purchased on the lips today so let's get started so to begin the shades that i picked up are number 62 bodacious 60 mullet over and over 75 decadence 65 posh 77 gossip and 99 extra chili so i got a good range of shades i want to say but i also only chose the shades that were interesting to me ones that i thought would look really beautiful and ones that i thought i would wear pretty often so let's talk about the specs let me pull it up right now okay so here is our lineup so it looks like there are 12 shades. It's $33 and these are supposed to be kiss proof, transfer proof, and waterproof liquid lipsticks with 24 hours of weightless wear and rich matte color. Let's go ahead and start with the swatches starting with the shade 62 Bodacious. This one is described as a deep tone beige. I'm really excited about this one. So the formulation is very thin, it's very lightweight, and it does dry down completely matte. It does have the signature MAC scent, which is kind of like a sweet vanilla scent. And I'm gonna go in, there's nothing on my lips. They are a little bit dry, to be honest. I haven't put lip balm on in a couple of hours. So the applicator is very stiff. It's really, there's no flexibility in it. And it does come to a point, so you can kind of draw out the outline of your lips. All right, this is the shade Bodacious on me. This calls for a lip liner. In my case, I think that this is a beautiful shade. I can definitely make it very wearable, but I do think that I would want to add a little bit of depth on the outsides as well as like the outer corners. I think that would look even better. It pretty much dries down immediately after you put it on because it does go on with a very thin layer. I wouldn't say that this is one swipe. Sometimes I have to go in with a little bit more in the tube. Other times I can get it all with like one applicator full. These definitely do stay put. I did test the transfer. Oh, let me test the transfer proofness. Back of my hand is completely clear. There you go. Transfer proof. Pretty much does not come off. I did kiss my husband last night and I convinced him to kiss me because he doesn't like kissing me when I have lip color on, like lipstick or lip product. And he was like, oh, like after we kissed, he was like, oh, that didn't feel like you were wearing anything on there. And I was like, I know, it's very light, right? And as always, I'm using my Neutrogena eye makeup remover to remove this lipstick. Comes off super easily, as you can see. All right, the next shade we have is number 60, Mullet Over and Over. I'm pretty sure that Mullet Over is a shade that's pretty popular within their line. They do have several different finishes of this shade, if I'm remembering it correctly. And this shade is described as a dirty peach shade. Definitely a peach shade. All right, so here is the shade Mullet Over and Over. I did just do one layer, and I can kind of tell whenever I'm applying this, there are some spots that are a little bit streaky, as in you can kind of see the color of my lips showing through underneath the color. So I would recommend that you go in with a little bit more in those areas, maybe let it dry down a little and go in with a very thin layer. These do feel very lightweight, like I said. They don't really feel like anything on the lips. However, they do feel a little drying like it doesn't feel like you have a lipstick on it just kind of feels like your lips are a little dry <laughs> of course because it is that very matte formulation and it does dry down completely matte there isn't much room for hydration within the formulation i wouldn't say it's the most comfortable liquid lipstick and you guys know me i prefer those moussey lipsticks you know i will trade long wear for comfortability next up we have the shade 75 decadence this is the one that i actually tried on yesterday 
yesterday and this shade is really pretty this one is described as a mid-tone warm rose shade and i did want to say that with this formulation again since it does dry down very thin and very lightweight it kind of just like sticks to your lips so in saying that you can definitely see those lip lines they are quite accentuated the way that a matte lipstick would do because you don't necessarily wear lip balm or lip oils or anything like that under a matte liquid lipstick if you want it to be true to its finish which is obviously matte now the color payoff on this one is very good i can get full application with just like one dip into the tube and i would recommend with all of these to go in with a very thin layer and i'll kind of discuss that later when i go into my mini review with it but just keep that in mind i do recommend that you just go in super thin layer don't glob it on all right, here is the shade Decadence. This one is very beautiful. I just love these tones. I think they're gorgeous for a night out. I personally wouldn't wear this in the daytime. This is definitely like a nighttime lipstick color for me because I, I don't know, I just feel like it's more fitting that way. And it's such a beautiful statement liquid lipstick color. Next, we have the shade 65 Posh. I originally wasn't gonna buy this one, but I saw Karen, I love Seta E post about it and I was like, mm, yeah, I need it, I need it. <laughs> this one is described as a warm brown. So this is the shade Posh. Actually, I really like this one. This one reminds me of milk chocolate almost. Like it's that sort of mid-tone brown and I really like this. Um, I feel like a lot of browns that are coming out currently are that darker chocolate brown, which is really beautiful. But for my medium skin tone, I feel like this is still a little bit dramatic for me but it's not kind of vampy on me you know this one i can see a little bit of patchiness um again those lip lines are accentuated but i can still see like if i kind of spread my lips a little bit it's a little patchy so i would say that you do need to go in with a second very thin layer if you want that super opaque look i think that this would look really really beautiful with a darker lip liner just like to accent the outside of the lips next up we have the shade 77 gossip this one is going to be a fuchsia pink and i'm excited right here is the shade gossip it is definitely a very bright very fuchsia pink i think this is beautiful i think that this kind of leans towards a reddish pink and next we have extra chili which is a warm brick red and i'm sure you guys know this but chili as a shade is kind of like a signature mac color they have multiple shades or multiple formulations of the same shade like different names play on the names and stuff like that and here is the shade extra chili this one's beautiful definitely a warm brick red i love the chili shades in the mac lipsticks I think that it's beautiful. I think that the Powder Kiss lipstick formulation of the shade Chili is probably one of my favorites. I think it's Devoted to Chili. That's the name of the shade, but it's gorgeous. I love it. This one, I feel like you can't go wrong. It's a pretty wearable red in my opinion. Those were all of the shades that I picked up. I'm going to keep extra chili on the lips for the rest of this so let's talk a little bit about my review this formulation itself like i said is a very thin matte formulation it's definitely that traditional matte liquid lipstick formulation where it goes on very liquidy obviously and then it completely dries down to a matte finish and with saying that i do find that it's not the most flattering for my lip lines i am very nitpicky about the lip lines lines that I get or I have and having them accentuated by lipsticks so that's kind of why I veer towards traditional lipsticks versus liquid lipsticks and also why I kind of go towards those whipped kind of creamier formulations when it comes to matte liquid lipsticks I'm not the biggest fan of this formulation that's just my preference though as it stands as that type of formulation where it's super thin and completely matte it's pretty good. I will say that this isn't one swipe pigmentation though. You do have to build up a lot of these shades when it comes to the pigment. Like I mentioned earlier, you can kind of see your lip color come through with some of the lighter shades particularly. And for me, if I'm paying $33 for a liquid lipstick, I'm going to want 
full pigmentation, something that's super comfortable, something that looks flattering on my lips, you know? It is transfer proof, like I said. I get no transfer whatsoever from these. They're really, really great in that sense. I did wear the shade Decadence during dinner yesterday so I could kind of do like a mini wear test. And I'll show you guys what it looked like when I first applied it. It looked very nice and rich. Everything was even in tone. And we did have soup. So we did like at home hot pot which I love, me and my husband really love Asian food. And we decided to do hot pot, you know, I was slurping noodles and I was drinking the broth and stuff. So obviously it's not gonna hold up as well with something like a soup than it would with, I don't know, a salad <laughs> or something dry. But after dinner, I did have a lot of wear. I didn't have that full pigmentation. The color was wearing off. It was definitely patchy. But I went in and I applied a little bit more on top of the existing lip color and it looked really nice. It looked fresh and brand new but something really weird happened. Last night before I took my makeup off, I kind of like, I was feeling the liquid lipstick and I was smacking my lips together to kind of get a feel for how the lips felt and how the formulation felt. And the reason I said earlier that you should go in with a thin layer is because I think if you go in with a semi-thicker layer, it pills and it's really weird because I put my lips together last night and it completely came off. The color completely transferred and was removed. It was the weirdest experience. I was kind of shocked. I don't think I've experienced that with a liquid lipstick before. I can't say that I always try that. Like I don't always try to reapply liquid lipstick, you know, if it goes away and I'm out, sometimes I'll just leave it off. Like I won't reapply my <laughs> liquid lipstick. So if you do decide to reapply this lipstick, I would say remove what lipstick you have on your lips before going in with a fresh layer. I would not recommend that you go on top of it with some more of the lipstick because then it might pill, it might look a little cakey, you know, that was like just the weirdest thing. So I thought that I would include that and I do have some footage of what my lips look like last night after I like pressed my lips together. Yeah, I don't know. Would I recommend these? Honestly, honestly, me, myself, with my preferences, no, I, I wouldn't. I, it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite liquid lipstick, you know? I really love the NYX Smooth Whip lipsticks. I have a video on those. The new Fenty Velvet lips I think are beautiful. Definitely not going to be as transfer proof and as long wearing because those formulations definitely do have a little bit more of that whip texture. So it does have a little bit more of that hydrating ingredient in it. It's not going to stay as long, but they do reapply nicely. And like I said, I would trade comfortability and pigmentation over long wear and transfer, you know, cause that's not really something that I'm looking for on a day to day basis. Like that's not something that I absolutely need, but I absolutely need to feel comfortable with the lip color and just my makeup in general. So yeah, I mean, not my favorites. The colors are beautiful though. And I mean, there is a formulation for MAC when it comes to lipsticks for everybody. I prefer the MAC Retro Matte Lip lipsticks those are the ones that kind of come with the that's the one that is more of that whip texture it goes on matte and it dries down matte but it doesn't feel as thin and it doesn't feel as dry on the lips I feel like with that one I can kind of build it up to where it goes over my lip lines and kind of fills them in so I don't see them as much and also it's just way more comfortable but yeah that is my full review guys um I hope that you enjoyed this Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully the swatches were helpful for you, if anything. And if you're kind of like on the fence on if you need these, and if you have a preference like I do when it comes with, to liquid lipsticks, I would say that you can go ahead and pass on these. Maybe go into stores and swatch them, kind of get a feel for them. Maybe apply them to your lips to see if you like it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful or just enjoyable. And if you did, please, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!